Hello people, what's Crackalackin' and it's Race Play? And G-Man, what's Crackalackin'? Hello what's people. Crackalackin'? So, before we carry on, uh, well, Furry Toast is not going to be with us this week due to personal reasons, so we don't need to say the matter. So it's just going to be us two. Um, he has obviously, you know, said to us carry on with it. Yeah, so it's the first time we've done that in a while. First one is going to be a man, two-man party for a while. Yeah, we haven't done that since 2020. Basically. It's not that. So it's, yeah, it's and been I've probably saved one as well, because obviously I had training for my second cage fight, so... As much as I got drink tank there, I would love to drink it. I can't. As usual, you don't have a pint glass for once. I this, know. As our first podcast. Usually, says, this is filled with something in it. But now it's going to be water. See, but water. instead, I've actually got a bottle of water here. Are you sure? It could be vodka. <laughs> vodka. The vodka's down there. You can see the vodka I've been touched on last week. Mm. That's what was left from us. Mm. From you mm. fucking falling over and nearly breaking my fucking... DVD well, thing. Well, I didn't. So that's <laughs> well, I didn't. That's the main thing. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, we had a bit of a wild one last week. Let's put it that way. But well, anyway, like, like wada. We have a wada. Yeah. And an early one. Bit of a wada early. Wada <laughs> early. Yeah. But we both had shit to do. Anyway, let's crack on with the podcast. So let's talk about the first thing. For, uh, something that recently happened this weekend. I think got a lot of people talking. Is the DC uh, fandom event? Woo! So yeah, first, what uh, what? Trailers caught your eye. Uh, I would say the Batman trailer. Obviously, the Batman. Batman. Trailer. No, 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 Batman. 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 Yeah, uh, that looked good to be fair. Yeah, they're awesome. So that, especially when Robert Pattinson, <coughs> people, you get to see what Robert Pattinson's role more, and you get to see the tone of it, and yeah. you get to see a bit of the Riddler. I like to see Riddler in the costume, but I don't know if you're going to see Riddler in his costume. I expect he will, but yeah, apparently it's meant to be like a set of a new trilogy of films. It's based off the long Halloween comic book. Oh, so I mean, quite interesting. So is, ma- is it like, gra- uh, so what's graphical? It is quite graphical, yeah. Um, Which is what I was going to say about the trailer. It does look like they're going a lot more darker with this one and a lot more yeah. graphical. Which is always good for Batman because some of his best comics that I've read are quite graphic graphic and dark. Yeah. But you've got to be careful that they don't go too dark because then he kind of turns into a film with kind of persona. Yeah, he can do. He turns to where he basically gets that point where he don't give a shit about anything and does anything, which we don't want that from Batman because he's got obviously his no kill and all that sort of stuff. They look good. Well, Definitely just, got to be interested. Apparently, there was there's a comic about is it called the White Knight or something? The White something? The White Knight. Yeah, where he gets the White Knight. Mm-hmm. Like. Yeah, and also he owns up for destroying buildings. He feels bad for punishing mentally ill patients or something. Yeah, I know what you're on about. I haven't well, briefly read. I haven't read well, the whole thing, so but that's I have Yeah, he, he, where he owes up to his mistakes, which he not fair, but he owes up to mistakes of his flaws. But I was surprised by Rob Patterson. Yeah, he did. He did look good in it. It did look like there's going much brutal with this one with the fighting as well. Like he was very not holding back in the fighting. Yeah, that's just so. The the coral reveal of the fight was very good. Especially in the end, yeah. So it looks pretty promising. It, it does remind me of the the Dark Knight trilogy in a way. I think it, it does. Yeah. Look, there is look comparisons like, there. Yeah, it's very similar in yeah. a way. I would say. Yeah, I like how he, the the Batman <laughs> came out of the fire. The shot and then you and how you that badass was badass. That, that was badass. I mean, that was very badass. And walking through. That's that, 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 We didn't get to see too much of the Penguin. No, we didn't see too much. No, it, was it looks good from what we did see. Same with Catwoman. You don't really get to see much of her, but she looks she good from what yes. we did see. So Sedana, she looks very good. Or Kravitz, Zoe Kravitz. Was it? So, so, I don't know. I don't know her name. That's right. That's the name for um, going to Guardians. Anyway, she's pretty good. Looks pretty good. That's yeah, pretty, that way. yeah, it's pretty good cast. I get that. Pretty good. Definitely one of the films I'm gonna watch out. But that's you know obvious because I'm just a Batman nerd anyway. Yeah. Do you think it, it looks better than the? Do you miss Ben Affleck? Did you wish Ben Affleck had no, a chance? I never really was a big fan of Ben Affleck. But then I never really watched any of his films that he did. Yeah. Did you like him in Batman vs Superman? No, because yeah. I didn't like that film anyway. Yeah. I, he was one of the best parts. I know he got a lot of slack for it, but... Yeah, it was de- he was decent in that, don't get me wrong. But yeah. it's hard to say I like him because I didn't like that film in general anyway. Because but, yeah. it was stupid, like... Especially with the ending that we've discussed it before, the bit where he just fucking goes, Martha! Martha and that yeah. fucking makes him stop fighting Superman. It's fucking stupid. If they did that earlier, that could, that could be a short film. They couldn't have done it much earlier. Yeah. yeah. Literally one word, Martha. Martha, the end. The end. <laughs> Time to go home. Re- no refunds. <laughs> and obviously you had Wonder Woman there, and you had Doomsday, which Batman was never going to beat Doomsday. 
Yeah, what we did one was bad. What it was injured was badass. Yeah, our wrench was badass, but that was yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. I can't really judge because in general I didn't like that film anyway. There was some good parts. It was yeah. It was but wild. um, I liked the first time. The second time I was like, eh, I could see people why I didn't like it. I know I I don't want to watch some the um, rated version, the uncut <laughs> version. That's just too long. I can I think I fell asleep watching Justice League. That's how bad that one was. But anyway. Yeah, I mean, mess. I think the DC DC. Uh, has redeemed itself as well. But they're starting to like Aquaman two looks good as well from what they showed a little bit of that. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen Aquaman. The Wonder Woman sure. films are pretty good. I haven't seen number two, so I can't. Say. I haven't seen number two. Yeah, I can't say as well. The trailer is pretty good. Not even for yeah. like the idea. So they they are starting to redeem themselves, but they're not Marvel quality. Yeah, I just how they're gonna. It's gonna be awkward how they're gonna like, recast Superman. Well, I don't care about Superman anyway. No, but I just, don't like, just fucking like that. I know what they're gonna. I know Shazam. They're like, hey, it's Superman, but. Oh, well, they are going to get a Superman map because one of the big things they want to do is um, Superman versus Shazam and Black Adam. Because mm. Black Adam's meant to be as strong as Superman, but he's just got um, electrical powers, mystical powers as well. Yeah, it's a shame Nicolas Cage's power. He was younger, he could have been a good Superman. I would, I would see that Nicolas Cage as Superman, but it happened. Tim Bur- yeah, but he went on to play Ghost Rider, didn't he? Yeah. If Tim Burton directed Superman, I didn't know, was it true if Tim Burton... That could be decent because he did direct the Batman with the Penguin in Batman Returns. So I think so that could be promising. That's the one with the hard nipples, isn't it? No, no, that's Batman Robin. Huh. No, I mean the one with the Penguin in. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, that's pretty good. Dark, dark, but uh, dark in a goofy, gothic way, but it's very good. Yeah, but this, but this one's quite dark, serious tone. Yeah, that's why I mean it does. Tone. It does seem to be giving off the serious dark tone, but yeah, that's quite good. Um, what do you think of Black Adam? In very Look short? good. It's good to hook. I like to see what. I, like I, to see more see, I, I am intrigued to see what they're going to do with this because obviously this mm. has been in development for ages. Because if, if I remember what, from, if I remember correctly from what The Rock said, this was pitched like years ago. This film. Yeah. Like years, years ago, two thousand eight, I think he said, or something like that, two thousand seven. What was he wanted to play Black Adam for a while? Or just... Yeah, he's been wanting to do it for ages. It's kind of like, he pitched um, him. He pitched it like years ago, years, years ago. Yeah, so you just make it happen. Don't give up. Just make it happen. It's like yeah. uh, it's like Ryan Reynolds. He won't be Deadpool for a while. Well, you got a ship role. You had a ship deal in X Men Wolverine. Well, yeah. Then you got ripped off in that one, but but yeah, we don't talk about. Uh, no one talks about that one. Yeah, he did. In the end, he got what he wants. He got Deadpool what is. But yeah, no, the, yeah, it does look good. 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 And as so much it, as it might, it might be want... Shazam, it might be Shazam. But yeah, but well. he's basically meant to be Shazam, just the evil version. Yeah. So that's why, but that's okay. why, that's why they want to do a load. That's why a load of people want to do Superman and Shazam versus him. Yeah, I wonder who's going to be the hero of the story. Though. Shazam. Uh, Black Adam's a bad guy. Uh, so Shazam will be in this film. Black no, no, he won't be in this one. So but they want to do the, 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 the This just rumors from what I've read mm-hmm. is the eventual plan they want to do is either do Black Adam two and then Shazam three versus this basically him versus Black Adam with Superman appearing in it. Yeah. Or do Black Iron 2, where it's him against Shazam and... Yeah. But, who knows? Who, who knows with DC? Who knows, yeah. But, but it, it bit, is interesting. I yeah, it could be a, it'd be a good origin story. As much as I don't do... like Rock, as a wrestler, I have to give it to him. When it comes to acting, he's got it. Same with John Cena. Well, John yeah. Cena. Yeah. Which, well, I, I think... So. Leading on, you did a good segue there. Peacemaker. Did you watch the trailer for that? Yeah, I watched it with you. Yeah. yeah that, was, <laughs> that, looks, that was quite funny. That looks funny as hell, too fair. Like, fair plays John Cena, because yeah, when you look funny. at him, you don't think of him as a comedy actor. Mm. Like, a lot of the films I've watched him in, apart from... I know he has done comedy films. Yeah. But I've only watched one or two of them that he's been. I can't remember one of them. Um, was it Daddy's Home 2? Daddy's Home? Daddy's Home 2, yeah. That's just funny yeah. as hell. There's another one where he's, like, a parent, and he's got to look after... He's, like, got a teenage daughter... Yeah. And his teenage sort of gonna have sex for the first time. Oh, uh, block cop blockers. Blockers. Yeah, yeah, that's very good. That, that he was quite funny in that one. Yeah. And then there's like one where he's in a fire. He's like a fireman. He, the kid, oh, that's a kids film. Yeah. And he's I, meant to be funny in that. Obviously, I'm not, I ain't. And then, 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 and then they get to use Fred the movie. Random. Uh, Fred. <laughs> Fred's <laughs> yeah. dad. Okay. Fred. Fred. Oh yeah. What time? Why is your father me trying to do Miss Piggy voice? Come in. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Um, yeah. Who's that? Oh. Uh, sorry. Training and stuff. Uh, yeah, so it's going to look funny, and I reckon he will pull it off. I reckon if you're going to do anyone from 
the Suicide Squad, uh, like, the origin story or HBO Max series, he probably was the best one to go for because you yeah. don't really need an origin story for, or HBO Max for Harley Quinn because it's she's happened, yeah. over anyway. She, everyone loves her anyway. Yeah. And she's had, like, two films by this point and is all over the place. I would like to see her more in a dressed outfit again. I don't want to <laughs> yeah. joke with the Joker. Maybe I'd like to see her and the Joker explode, explode together. Maybe not Jared Leto. Who knows? I don't know. I was going to say, not Jared Leto. I'm fucking out. That's the worst one. <laughs> we Let's thought would have been a good spin off series, but. The Polka Dot Man. Yeah. Polka I'm Dot. A, I don't know. Can't really do no. much with him. No. He See really. Mother, he yeah. explored his mummy's issues in the first. in the Suicide Squad. <laughs> Pretty much, we know what happened. His mummy issues saved the day. <laughs> and then there was it. And King Shark's just a shark who just is funny. But Yeah, what about the the weasel? I shouldn't know to. <laughs> Nah, that Let's do a TV programme on him. That'd be funny as fuck. Oh, what, there's a weasel running about. Uh, weasel, yeah, just have... And licking stuff. Yeah, and then you, every time he, you know, he dies and then he comes back, just like Kenny. <laughs> he just dies. Be like the Kenny of... Um... I'll play, yeah. Oh my god, they killed a weasel. You bastard. Yeah, let's do that. You thought he's dead, but now he comes back. <laughs> every time. But, yeah, now that one... It made sense why they've done a spin-off series for that. That one looks good. Yeah, I'm surprised they make a spin-off. I thought, I don't know. One trailer does surprise, not surprise me, but one film I am interested to see what they're going to do with is the Flash movie. Yes, it's in Because that's meant to be like DC's version of the multiverse. Yeah. It's meant to be setting that up anyway. Yeah, I thought Black Adam set it up, but it's just him. I thought no. both, uh, okay, because, because they're both crossing over together anyway. Yeah, um, no, but Flash is the one that originally uh, is uh, set yeah. up because he's the one who can go through time. Oh, uh, nice. Because in the spoilers, if uh, based on what this film is apparently going to be on, it's based on Flashpoint storyline, which, like I said, spoilers if you haven't seen or read the comic, Flashpoint storyline is basically about the Flash going back to save his mum, because in the original origin, his origin story, his mum dies mm. by your first Flash. He goes back to save his mum, and that fucks up the whole timeline. Yeah. So and that's, that's why you've got like uh, thingies, Michael Keaton's Batman in it. That'd uh, be quite interesting in it. That and makes that makes sense. Two right? versions of Flash in it. So who knows there could, and who knows with Spider Man at the same time. I don't know when, when well, this is coming. I if that's really. true, we don't know yet. They're we still don't know denying yet. it. They're still denying it. Well, they keep us surprised, but you know, look, if the goblins could be there, and the octopus, obviously, they're gonna have they've done some points. <clears throat> well, they're gonna well, they have read. I have read that. I've read. I have listened to a, a, a thing. No, because it's just rumors. So I don't know if it's true. Okay. That the film is going to be two and a half hours long. That's good. And it's meant to be like the Spider-Man version of Endgame. Oh. So. Or Infinity War. (laughs) Well, I doubt there'll be another one. No. That's what what I've heard. That's good. So this could be a good epic. That's good. It's meant to be like his last big film until like Spider-Man 4. Okay, if that happens. If that happens, yeah. Yeah. There there was meant to be a Spider-Man 4 with um, the Tim McGuire, but it didn't happen because Spider-Man 3 didn't. No, if they can get to number three, let me number four. Do I mean the Tony McGuire? They did get to number three. Oh, yeah, three. the Tony McGuire thought you meant um, the Andrew Garfield ones. No, I don't want I don't want to have. I know Jamie Foxx is going to be back in it. He was. Yeah. So it's going to be a lot of references. There'll be a lot, there'll, there'll be a lot of references either way, but. Yeah, it'll be what, interesting to see what, what are you doing. more interested about the more interest? DC or the Marvel one? What are you more Marvel. Any yeah. day. I know I haven't watched what, um, the Loki series or What If series, but. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. because man's poor and got bills to pay. Yeah. Like, but Marvel's always more... I think Marvel's always done the you, multiverse you, you, better. You, you have watched episode one, haven't you? Yeah, you yeah, watched, yeah, I've watched, yeah, I've watched one episode of what if. I haven't but, watched but, 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 anything but, else. I haven't watched none of Loki. You watched episode one for Loki. You have watched it. That's oh, yeah, one. all right. You episode think, one. Yeah, you don't, maybe you don't think... Maybe think that we need to watch more. But, no, I probably would, but I just haven't got the... I know, no, no. Description. Yeah. Man can't good. afford it, man to poor bugger but then no. probably because I'm buying Christmas shit <laughs> yeah um, yeah multi first where I'd have to say it's uh, Marvel I just think they do it a much better way of explaining it and do it better yeah I don't know could, DC, could, do, could, could, DC could, yeah. do it okay in the fla- it depends on the Flashpoint that's why I said about the Flashpoint movie yeah it depends what they do with this movie and how well they explain it yeah because you got to think Marvel must have planned it like years ahead DC yeah. Disney's in crisis, but well, Disney's in crisis, but hopefully this will redeem the Disney. Well, really well they haven't itself. really built a universe up, have they? They've relied on Superman or Batman most of the time, which 
I get that, because Batman and Superman, apart from Wonder Woman, are like the big two of DC. Mm. They got, they but got... you need to get the other er- heroes, that made no sense, heroes in there yeah. to make, to build that universe. And they've only really just introduced the Flash, they've only really just introduced Cyborg. Yeah. They've only just, well not just, but they haven't, Wonder Woman haven't been around that long. And yeah, they don't want to make a mess. Ackman haven't been around that long. I know, you just like, they did, yeah, you don't want to make it like a mess. Okay, let's set this up. Then it turns to a mess. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think... Just, Justice League was a big mistake. They should have waited for Justice League for a while. I think ago. that's what I think. That's what I mean. I think they rushed it. Like I don't like Justice League anyway, but that's just personal because, like I said mm. in previous blogs, I know Superman comes back and makes his saves today. Yeah. Which is so... shit in my opinion because that's not what the Justice League should be about. Yeah. If you're gonna make a group, make them work as a group and save the day as a group, not fucking one super guy come back and does it. But anyway, yeah. we'll move on because I'm going a whole rant about that. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, that's what I mean. They rushed it. They didn't set up Justice League properly. They didn't set up that yeah. universe properly. They just went, oh, here's that command after yeah. one film. Here's Wonder Woman after. Did Justice League come after Wonder Woman 2 or before? Oh, after. I think probably after, yeah. After. So they only just briefly, like, showed what Wonder Woman was about. Yeah. They only did one film with Aquaman, so people only really got to know him a little bit. Yeah. They haven't even done a film on Flash or Cyborg yet, and they just chucked them in there. It was like, yeah. And then the then... only thing Marvel didn't do was they didn't do a film on Hawkeye, but that's okay. They managed yeah. to get some other. I think Marvel took its time with the Avengers, I guess. Yeah, that's what I mean. They did. Man. Like, if you look at the timeline, they took a time. Like, it wasn't just. Yeah, and they set that up with Iron Man Two in the um, McFury sets up Avengers. Yeah, that's Avengers. what I mean. They set it up, but they didn't go straight to an Avengers film. Exactly. Yeah, to make it look like make it worth the wait. DC have just rushed it and went straight to. They a... they just went to panic mode because they they know about um thing they were, um, Civil and then War. they do Justice League after Batman vs Superman. Yeah, but it's pretty yeah like you're. That makes that makes no sense either because you just had two of your biggest heroes fight it out, mm. and now they're going to be all good on a team together. Yeah, then the Snyder Cut. <laughs> I haven't seen the Snyder Cut. But I don't know if it's going to be any better. Well, all it, apparently all it does well it, apparently it introduces Green Lantern to the team. Yeah, uh, is he gonna get a film? I don't. Know. There is meant to be a, a, a film, a TV series in the but yeah, I'm open to uh, Justice League too, but it's just gonna make what? I'm not. Well, <laughs> see happen. Yeah, I'm not because I didn't like number one, so I got no hope for number I'm, two. That's wasted. Yeah. If Harry could, I would. Yeah. Like I said their future films are looking good. The Batman series, I'll say series because they're gonna do a series off of it. Because it's based off the long Halloween. Yeah. I and the long Halloween comics is like two or three storylines. Yeah. Two or three I comics. Just, I just want a good Batman. I just want we a... need a good Batman film. It's been a while. No, no, no. no, no. But I want a good Superman film. But I haven't. Then again, I'm not trusting Superman. But <laughs> maybe you just want to see a Superman film. You can never make me want to see a Superman film. So. No, they need to go. Basically, they need to do good with the next few films they've got. They need to make sure Aquaman 2 is good. And they need to make sure this Flashpoint film explains yeah. the multiverse and sets it up properly. Yeah, don't make it like a mess. It makes the storyline make sense, yeah. Because it, it can be confusing for people, the whole multiverse thing, because you've got, obviously, Flash going back in time, and then you've got different like variants of him coming around. Yeah. And, you know, yeah, if you haven't read the comics, then you yeah, don't know what they're on about. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, and the critics will eat you up. Unless you've done research on it, but not, yeah, but a lot of people not do research. People just see the film as it is. Yeah, that's what I mean. A lot of people don't want to go and read in the comics or yeah, research. No, they just want to go and see the film and then be like, ah, oh, right, that's it, that's that's that, that's that. Yeah, but just don't drag out. Well, it seems don't drag out. No, I don't go wrong. Marvel's no, like what their Avengers Endgame was like three hours long, something like that, wasn't it? Yeah, but then they explain the multiverse. first. I think they did. Kind yeah, of. yeah, that's well, what I mean. They took their time, but they also made it a decent enough. Not too long. Yeah, and then um, Adman 2 did that. I'm interested to see where DC Sorry, goes probably. after this showcase. Let's put it that way. Yeah. I like him. Um, D- I hope CTC will do more TV shows as well. Well, based on the film. On the films. I don't know. The only ones I know, like I said, is the uh, Peacemaker and the Green Lantern one they've been working on for ages. Okay. Oh, and there's like an animated um, Aquaman. TV series coming out as well, or oh. film. Oh, okay. What, CGI? Okay. Yeah, something like that, but yeah. Okay. I'm okay. interested to see where they go with it. I'm interested to see what the future of DC is looking like. You know, I love Marvel, but I also got ties to DC because Batman is my favourite superhero. Yeah. I do quite like Green Arrow now as well because of the TV series. Mm. 
Yeah. And I do quite like Aquaman now because of the film and yeah. Wonder Woman, but yeah. Yeah. they've got to keep my interest going. You can't just, you know, you got to make it all work and connect. All work, girl. Even if it's just little cameos or little Easter eggs. Yes. It keep still it keeps it together. Yeah. And just make... like yeah. Phenomenon, see that. Yeah. Right, what's oh yeah, what's about the Batman game track, Arkham Knights? That looks sick. I can't wait to get it. I need to get a PS5 first, but that's mm. what I was gonna say. Like their games smashed it, so they do what their games do, absolutely smash it. Yeah, and you can be many characters you want. Like, like Suicide Squad looks fucking awesome because you could be Harley Quinn or you could be Bloodsport or you can be Captain Boomerang or you could be King Shark. Yeah. Gotham Knights are quick. It looks wicked because you could be Batwoman or Batwoman, Batgirl, or you could be Nightwing, or you could be Robin, or you could be Red Hood. Oh, Alfred! If you're Alfred, no, it can't be Alfred. He's a no. butler. What the fuck's he gonna do? Fight him. <laughs> Hit them with a fucking pan. Probably. Yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> Have that. Oosh. Oosh. Oh shit! I didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, but he could be Batman. Yeah, that'd be good. It'd be good if you could no, be Batman's a traitor. No, Batman's dead. It's a follow-up to the Batman Arkham Knight game where he dies. Yeah, but he'd be gone. Well, dead. apparently he died. Well, if done, it'd be like Superman. If had that. Oh, yeah. I don't think he is though, because let's face it, it's Batman. They always bring him back somehow. Batman. Uh, it's superheroes. He never uh, died properly. Look how many times Batman and Superman's come back from the dead. Then they're getting Wolverine. Uh, yeah, Wolf. but Wolverine's got a healing factor. That's why. Uh, Batman and Superman think. Um, Batman. Is there anything else you want to say about DC fandom before we move on? I think we said everything, have we? He said Flash, we said Black Adam, we said all the games. Yeah, so there's I've no been tra- films. Was we seen any more trailers? No. No, that was it. That's it. Any Supergirl, but that's uh, not Supergirl, no. Stargirl, but that's a TV series. Yeah. You won't have a clue about that. No. <laughs> so we move on to another big thing that's uh, been a surprise, but I can, and you could probably see why now as well, now you've watched the series. Yeah. Why it's such a massive hit, Squid Games. Yeah, Squid Games, I've watched it all. So what very do you think? Good. Um, I understand the hype, but I think it's very interesting as well. A lot of twists and turns, isn't there? Yeah, especially near the end as well of the old man. Yeah, well, it, before like we carry on, spoilers, because we are going to talk about the f- program and plot lines, so spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Carry on. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty engaging as well. I like how it does get so, it does get very dark, but there's also lots of emotional moments as well. Yeah, think. that's what I mean, that's why I loved it as well. It's very dark, but it's very emotional. Like, one of the best thing. Parts of the program, I think I can't remember what episode it is, but it's where they're playing the Marvel game. Yeah. And you got them. I can't. We should really know their names, what we think. So we do apologise. Sorry. We don't, we don't know. <laughs> um, you Sorry. got um the two best friends, and you got like the other guy that joins our group. Yeah. And he's like really sweet and innocent. Yeah. And then you got the guy um one of the main characters of the two best friends. Yeah. That um basically has li- he's time he kind of turns evil throughout the program. He or does. he kind of shows that he's willing to do anything to win and survive. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You see that in episode 7. No, episode 8. But it gets like really dark yeah. because he basically trips his best friend. Because the mar- basically the Marvel game is you play a Marvel game, whoever wins yeah, doesn't get eliminated. He does anything. Wins. Yeah. And he tricks his friend to basically grab a pack of rocks. So he has like a sack of rocks and then he has all the marbles. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's like moments like that where like shit. Like, it's really twisty and turning like that. Shows, shows what um, humans would do for money. So, to, to, to be a villain. Yeah. I know, right, in the end he does, like, you know, just kill himself for his friend to get out and get the money. Yeah. It's like the same with the old man. Like, I love the twist with the old man. Exactly. Yeah, at the end. Like, he reveals that he did it, he was part of it the whole time, and he just did it because he was bored and they're rich. Yeah. Player One, yeah, Player One. His name is Player One. Player One, yeah. That makes sense. Player One. But uh, yeah, that's why I lots mean. of twists as well. And then the old man you thought he's gonna die, but he didn't. No, I that, that did take me back by surprise. Yeah, I was quite sad because he had when we say he had dementia. And I'm, I mean, yeah, he said he had dementia, didn't he? And, and then, then he got worse, and then he, and then he and faked his death, and then it's like he was like, now I've been here the whole time. I've been playing the game because I'm bored. That's quite Which sad. is quite sadistic in itself. That like, if you think about it, you got rich men just doing it because they're bored. Yeah, and what the old man, and you're just doing it for fun. You just uh, buy fun kids. I don't know. Fun, it's, yeah. Science it's, 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 I know you just what you want to make one. So my question, I was gonna ask you this last time because we watched episode one together, and then you watched the rest by himself. Yeah. Or oh, now I already watched it before. 
Would you go back when they get offered to go back again? Would you go back? Or would you be like, nah, fuck that, I'm out of here? Nah, fuck that, I'm out of here, no. No, would you? <laughs> That's what I was thinking, though. I was thinking they're psychos for going back. Why would you go back? I know, and the one said, if you go back, it's the same outcome. They get, but no, not what it's not worth it. I know they're in debt, and that's the whole point of like the program. Yeah, exactly. It's still like really, it's you like, want really? to go back for that and play those sort of games? Exactly. Oh, it depends. It's like, okay, if I gone on, I'm a celebrity. People go on to these shows because they want a different life for money. Yeah, but I that's. I get that. Yeah, but but for do it for survival, I'm like no. It's like no. That's what I mean. It's like you lose, you debt. Yeah. Why would you do it? Rescue your life. It's like. It's basically like a death wish. Yeah. Can you imagine? Like imagine, imagine if you the only way you get lottery is you gotta play this game because you're dead. Yeah. Well, no. I one of the funny one of the best one of my favorite bits is you know the um there's quite an old woman in it not old but compared to the other girls in the program grandma the one called grandma yeah yeah she's quite she's like the grandma for a character. I, I love so. she fucks the like basically the bad but the bully of the program. He's like this bad boy bully and he like bullies the other contestants. Yeah. Same. I love that he um he turns on her and then she just basically grabs him on the bridge game and just that, takes yeah. him to him death and is like, Ah that bitch. Oh my god, yeah, that's a good twist. <laughs> ah, that's a good twist. I didn't expect her to actually get her revenge. I thought when she said she was gonna get her revenge, it's just for the program. Yeah. I didn't realise she would actually go and like just like, Yep, yeah, I'm taking to death for me, see you later. Yeah, she's crazy. Yeah, crazy. Oh, yeah. She was I, one of my favourites, to be fair. Yeah. She was one of my favourites just she's because crazy. she was so out there and fucking funny. She's that out there. My voice was kind of annoyed, but maybe it's the dub. <laughs> Can we talk about the dub version? I don't know, and it, um, some people prefer the subside or some people prefer the dub version. But some of the voices sound like it came out from a cartoon. So you got your... <laughs> uh, I voice, I... I was like, don't call, don't call me old lady like that! It, uh, I I've... think I watched the one with the subtitles, so I can't say. Did you? Oh, yeah. Oh. Did you, you, watched the, you watched the one with the dubs on the first episode. Oh, no, no. No, I'm right. Yeah, I did watch it with the dubs, yeah. Yeah, the one with the voiceovers, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going, wait, what do you think the old lady's voice? That didn't sound like old... <laughs> it's quite funny, but... Yeah. It's funny. And it was like, you bitch. Don't call me old man. And I like how you called her a bitch. You put yeah. up you bitch. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like... He sounds... The, the bully sounds like um, Christian Bell... Try and be Batman at times, you bitch. <laughs> like that's one of that's why I said that makes me fun. It just laugh makes me laugh because like, you got one with them um, shagging, and then the they're just like at each other's throat. And, and the worst thing is, you let me fuck you. <laughs> she said that wrong. Oh, you got to. I know she might be funny. She is so hot, and weird. But I know people find her annoying. I know she's quite funny sometimes. Yeah. But our voice doesn't match the dub. Some of the voices don't match the dub. I know. I know it's very hard to match the words up. Yeah, no, but, I get that. Obviously, it's hard to I've, match the words up. Maybe it's it's some of the voice up. actors... It was like voice from... Co- I can get why the dub is... People find the dub very bad or cringing. Yeah. The front, and I also like the twist with the front man. Yeah. Because you have the detective who's basically the brother to the front man who's like the one who runs it all. Yeah. And you, I, I did like that twist. That, he was like the intruder. They called it the intruder, yeah. Yeah. I like that because and then you really, and I I like how season two like they haven't confirmed season two but come on yeah, it's their on. biggest show on Netflix apart from Sex Education and Bridgerton yeah they're yeah. not gonna not do a season two and they they're can't have to like I'm co- they're, doing, they're doing Tiger King two for goodness sake Tiger King two I know man you're gonna do you're that gonna... but not this like come on come on yeah it makes yeah. you excited for number two because it's interesting because obviously number two ends with the main character going back. Yeah, not that, to the games, that... but to like go and find the people. Yeah, that's planet. quite exciting because you get to know who these people are. Yeah, you know, it's like, they left a lot of like cliffhangers. Like you don't find out who the front man is, well you do, but you don't know why he's doing it or decided to take yeah, part in it. Yeah, a lot of unsolved questions in a way. Because you, you don't know if the inspector lived or died. Because all right, he did get shot and went off a cliff, but people have survived that before on TV programs. Yeah, what did you do? What did you think of the ending? I thought the question? ending was quite appropriate. I liked how the guy, the businessman who sets it up with the like square card things, yeah. was so, there and the main him. character saw him. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I know what we did. Yeah, he came back. To, he it. came back to the other one. So no, you don't do that. And he was warning the other guy, no, you don't do that. You don't go. It's just a very yeah. I like how he meets the 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 contestant's daughter as well. That was quite. Yeah, that was quite sweet. And it gives half the money, doesn't he? Yeah, that's quite sweet. Yeah. One of the main ladies, one young. One yeah, of the young ladies. Yeah, that was quite... But overall, quite like I said, it's a really good, just twisty program. It keeps you on the edge of your seat. 
yeah, that's what I'll, games I'll ask you a question, mate. Absolutely. So the question I was going to ask you is, out of all the games, what would be the one you'd be shitting yourself the most at? I think definitely the last game. The, no, no, not the between the other two, but you know the Taos game. That one, that's the, exactly the one I was going to say. Shit, yeah, scared, especially scared of heights and the glass. That's the worst the... thing, because I'm not the biggest fan of heights, and you think... Uh. Alright, if you went to the bat, you've got time to do it, but... Yeah. Like I said in the programme, if you go to the back and you've got the people in front of fuck ass and about, yeah. like the bully did, he tried to stop the time and didn't move for a bit, yeah. you're going to be fucked because yeah, exactly. not enough time. But that definitely is the one I'd be shitting myself at the most because I think the others you've got quite a good chance. Like red light, green light is pretty simple. You just stop. And the marble. Yeah, the marble. Marble one is pretty... As much as I wouldn't want to do it, Seven. you would just have to trick your opponent. Mm. The one where you got to like, cut the... the that hole out of the like, biscuit thing. Yeah. As long as you've got a steady hand and you play it smart, you could do that one. Yeah. And then the squid game, the last one just comes down to two of you. So yeah, I would definitely say the glass one would be the one I'd be shitting myself at the most. Just because of the height and you can't stop yourself on that one. Like once you hit that glass and it breaks, you're fucked because you're just going straight down. It's I see, yeah, and they put you in the coffin. Yeah. Tug of war, all right, that's a bit dangerous as well because if you're on the wrong team, you're fucked. But. Yeah, unless you're very strong. You've still got a 50-50% chance of winning that one. But, yeah, the glass one is... And then someone can push someone to be winning. That's what I mean. It. If there's you've got like people like the bully who's desperate to just do it, like, don't give fuck. I'm very surprised, so I thought he wasn't going to be the bully. He's going to be the friend of the, main, <laughs> of the other guy. The one... What, the main two? The two best friends one the other guy that joins them. The guy in the glasses. I think he's the bully, isn't he? The guy in the glasses. No, the guy in the glasses is one, the one that goes like all psycho and does anything... And everything. Yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. He, I, I thought I, he was going to be the bully. No, I thought he was going to not. I thought he was going to be the good guy, but he's not. I know. Yeah, but that made it interesting. I thought Evolved. that was quite interesting. It shows how people would do from it. Turns to a psycho. That's what I mean. That's why I like the programme. It's one of those programmes that makes you think, what would you do if you was in that situation? Would you betray your friends? Would you play Morals, tricks? Yeah. Do you... More, yeah, do more to come the window. You, like, you do it for yourself. Do what the main character's done and form a team? Or it's one of those things, like I said, more is ask. Like ask what morals you gonna do? Yeah. How do, how Some deep people... would you get? Yeah, it shows how people do it for the money. <coughs> Just to win. If you manage it, yeah. A program. Yeah, no, not a program. Yeah. Money. Right, it's a lot of money, but still. Yeah, exactly. And so people do cheat their way for sport. Yeah, people do do that for fame and that. Yeah, of course. Or steroids and how people are willing to take their morals out the window and this guy. It's quite interesting character developments. Yeah, think. that's what I loved about it as well. Like the yeah. characters all developed in their own way. Like you have the main character who's just like in there to pay his debts off and then become like the strong, the most was willing to kill his best friend at the end of it. You yeah. had his best friend, the guy in the glasses, we say, so you can get a better idea of what I'm about. He went into a basically just I'll oh, do anything and everything to get mm. through it. And then you got like the main girl, who's got like the daughter and son brother, little brother, who turns into the, like, acts like the big I am, and then kind of goes to a, a shovel by the end of it. Yeah. And then obviously you've got the bully and the psycho woman, the you know, grandma, and that just, like... Okay, yeah, does it, kind of, does it kind of mind you a big brother, how you, how these people form, there's all kinds of people. In a way, yeah. But... Yeah, there's psycho, there's a bit, don't kill him, but, like... No, not people like, but, yeah. The psycho bully. Him up and... People will do anything for the camera, you know, sign like... Yeah. So what's... Yeah. Definitely want to see a number two. Definitely want to see Yeah, it's interesting. He tries to build as rich people want to feel people as horses. Yeah. Right what would you say? Well, I would, would, you say? would you take, you want to take part now? No, I wouldn't fucking go back. Too fuck. I wouldn't go back. I wouldn't go there in the first place. At least you didn't know where I was. I'm in debt now. <laughs> I know. So Imagine that like a squid card just comes out of the door. <laughs> yeah. I thought, I've always told you how um, when the squid game, uh, one of the people in the Pink Trunks, whose dad won the PlayStation symbol. Yeah, but that's, quite, that's quite interesting. But I think it's based on um, Korean symbols, and maybe that's why. I thought it's intentional, but it's not the PlayStation thing. No. Yeah, the it's, controls. Yeah, but it's also, if you look on the walls, you can see the games. I don't know, yeah. yeah I like you can see like the a... games if you look on the wall. Yeah. But yeah, I'm definitely excited for season two. Yeah. Don't forget to set your alarm up for da 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 <laughs> And I will we'll say, it. if you like that programme, watch Alice in Wonderland. It's another Netflix show. 
Okay. Korean. Very similar. They got to play games. Is it quite dark? It's quite dark. It does get quite dark. They got to play games to survive. And yeah, I won't say no more because it's a really good series. You know, can you imagine there would be a real life version of Squid Games where it's like X Factor? No, it is. Imagine, imagine that. Sound Cow. You go to Sound Cow. Hello, what's your name? Hello, my name, eliminated. my name. My name is Lee. What are you going to say? Oh, um, my nan just passed away and I got to sing the song. You raise me up. <laughs> so Not I, good enough. I am. I, I, that's a no for me. Then somebody in the mask came with a chainsaw. <laughs> that would be more interesting. As a parody, that would be more interesting than the current X Factor. If they did that as a sketch, yeah. Not a Blue Earth, yeah. Thing, yeah. Factor. I don't want to see the hunger. If there would be a hunger... Hope not be a hunger game in the future where people are fighting for survival. No. Maybe maybe Bird Grove. Yeah. But, but he doesn't... Doesn't mean murder. But, yeah, no, but I want to see a show about murder. Because that's legal, no. No. If you want to see that, it's called a dark web. Just don't get yeah, get arrested. It's called dark don't web. Don't go too deep yeah. into it. Don't go to the deep web. No. Not that we've oh, ever. Yeah, no, should, uh, not that we've ever looked into it because we haven't. Looked, but yeah, at least you got a fake effed up mind, and you're <laughs> and you're just very interested about dead bodies. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm so fucking like you going dark here. Yeah, it's a bit dark web. Yeah, I could. I hope it would not be a squid game. Apparently, it was a kids' version of um. Of a uh, no, they made, they made yeah, a game version of games. I don't think that's yeah. yeah the Squid a, Games might be like a Korean childhood game. No, no, they make a kids version based on the TV show. Oh, yeah, I think that's very wrong. That's that's bit and then dodgy. Again, Fortnite. Dodgy. That's very dodgy. Yeah, I know there's like those like parodies of Minecraft have done it, and yeah, you can but, play like Fortnite Squid games. Yeah, yeah, but like it's still a bit weird. But yeah, be... check it out. And Go if you check. like that, check out Alice in Wonderland because that's a fucking good TV series as yeah, well. Yeah, South Korea got some good TV, I guess. So on to um, good TV to controversy. Yes. From Ooh. one of our favourite bands, Little Lil, Mix. Little Mix. Ooh. What do you think of uh, Jesse? J- Jesse J. I was about to say Jesse J. That's Jesse J. Person. About the money, money. <laughs> um, Jesse Nelson being accused of black, whatever it is, she's been black, um, or whatever it is. Sounds like a lot of drama. To me. I think it's all out of proportion. Um, I don't think I don't think I don't think she needs to be racist. She knows. She, um, I think I think it was just just a makeup mistake on the music video. Um, uh, I, can I can see what they do. Because yeah, most girls nowadays are tanned anyway. Yeah, he's tanned. Most of days nowadays, girls got tanned. They're all tanned up. It's just the world we live in. Yeah, because that's. Violent. How girls think they should look because of celebrities and all that bollocks. Yeah, exactly. And let's build. Have you heard of Black Fish before the article? No. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know. Is that meant to be new? But I know in the end, done like a speech at her uh, birthday party, like defending herself. Yeah. yeah and I know Nicki Minaj's thrown shots out there as well, but yeah, was, yeah. I think it's just been taken a bit too far out of proportion. Like, yeah, I don't think drama, Jessie yeah. Nelson was purposely trying to be black. Yeah, she knows she's a white woman. I, thought, I, I thought, think it's just she was yes. very tanned up, which is a normal thing for women. Because... Yeah, and it could be a, a almost mistake in the makeup. Her makeup could be looked tanned. Her makeup could have just makeup. been done too dark and too wrong. Yeah, that ha- which happened. Yeah, and it's it's a shame really because you think those friends for all those years have had they like acted like they fucking hate each other. Yeah, and it just takes away away from the music. Well, I don't know, boys. Yeah, I don't know. Bit, she, yeah. Well, little bits are apparently splitting soon. Yeah, I'm not surprised. See, not that, permanently, but they're like apparently doing their own things. Soon. Well, well, look what happened to the Saddies. They turned to mums. So I was. Did only say that? So did they upset the, the fan Saturdays base? Didn't fucking dirty do anything. What did they do? Like two hours, then split. No, they did. They did. They did, they did like five years, but then to to put out Little Mix, they did ten years, did they? They come back fucking the non-stop. Like they're yeah, like, they're, I've heard rumours they're on about recent the next album already. Well, I would believe it when I say it, but I think they're focused on being mum too than being mums. And then there's Jade. Yeah. Well, from what I've read, Jade's going on to present in. Mm-hmm. They're all doing their music as well. And I think Leanne, Leanne is it? I think Leanne's meant to be going on to like cosmetics or beauty stuff. And I think one of them's meant to be going on to do clothing stuff. I That's what I've read. I, I would be surprised Jade be a good presenter, like... like uh... Like um, Marvin, a show. Oh, she wouldn't be a bad percent to be honest. Yeah, she'd be quite she, funny. 
you know. Like I, see, like I see, like with Sheriff and Saturday, she's got a percentage off, but she did quite well. Yeah. And it's like, Marvin as well. Marvin. Jade's quite a natural in front of the camera, like when it comes to percentage. Yeah. Like, she was on her models, yeah, Great British Brit 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 British Brit 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 yeah, because like, she ripped into um, what's his face, Neil Gallagher or whatever. It's oh, like, I mean, oh yeah, oh yeah, big, oh yeah, from Aces. But, yeah, yeah, I think it's just been blown all the way out of proportion, man. Yeah, it is, but both. Yeah, it's a shame I, I, as well. It's a shame, it's a shame because it's it controversy itself, but I don't know. I don't. I think it did it affect the, the song. I'm not sure. It did affect the songs, yeah. Yeah, I think Jesse I, Nelson's song went right down, and there's a song like Little Miss Done that um. Jay and Leanne, not yeah, Leanne was like the main singer on, and that one shot right up. Yeah, so yeah, it's like Team Little Mix, and then just yeah, I feel bad for Jesse. It reminds me of um, Talisa, well, because Talisa had some controversy over the sex scene, not her fault, wouldn't it? But then again, it didn't affect her song because it still went to number one. But always Talisa, always, yeah, I both like Talisa really. Talisa wasn't really that good by herself. No, no, I think it was no, because Dancy. I think she should have done dancey stuff. She's not a cascada. She should have done more urban stuff. Because that's, yeah. that's what she's good at. Adam Dobbs. Urban that. Uh, urban it up. Yeah. Because I guess her. She's at the same record label with Clubland. As it all, you know, with cascada. It all yeah. around the world. And of course, they've got to do dancey stuff. But I think she should have done um, more urban stuff. She should have done what Cher Lloyd done. She said, fuck off to label and done her own shit. Exactly. Independent. Lots of people were dependent. Oh well, yeah, look, dizzy, at Sher- look at Sharon Lloyd now. Since oh, yeah, she's, yeah, she's cracking them. I think she's, she, cra- she's, she's left like um, mm. Simon Carroll's company. She's gone on to like five, six songs that are completely different from what she used to do. And she's cracked in America, which is very hard to do. So fair play. She's banging it like she's her latest one. Yeah, even it? she's cracked some more in America than the Little Mix did. I mean, Little Mix have looked success in America, but they're more big in the UK. Yeah, Sharon Lloyd's way more. Successful. Five and then Lab Brothers as well. He left Psycho as well. So fair. So, more of a story. Don't join Psycho. <laughs> Link Psycho. If you want to go, yeah, like, don't join it. <laughs> yeah, because um, Labyrinth, he's doing a soundtrack for um, Sadea's song, uh, for a show Sadea's in, over at HBO. He's doing a show for oh, HBO. So, fair play to Labyrinth. Nice. So, he went from Tony Tan to pass out to in America. So, fair play. Now, he's done a song with Sia. That's good. Yeah, but Adele's the same. Well, she's moved to America and trying it in America. Who? Who again? Adele. Well, she went here. Well, she's really... To, Big in America, obviously, yeah. Yeah, she's moved but, there now. Fair play. Fair, fair play. Got LA life. I don't know if she recently has or whatnot, but fair play. Yeah. She could eat anything open to number one to Sir Yeah. But hopefully, we'll just hopefully not be overplayed. Good, no. Pro, good promo. Speaking of uh, overplayed songs, sometimes Britney. <laughs> well, you like a bit one more time? Well, you my no. No, I was thinking of a smart segue. To be fair. <laughs> what well, Toxic Toxic Toxic's talk, 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 all right, yeah. Yeah. Latest Britney, Shangana sh- news. Yeah, I can't yeah have you what? You have, you ever watched the Netflix documentary? Yeah, I wonder why I have time to sit down and watch TV. On the Netflix. I don't even have Netflix the... now. I can't afford it. Got you can't. Uh, I've got to pay for membership again. Good thing you. Good thing you watched Squid Games before that. <laughs> yeah. No, that's because I binge sc- watched that one fucking night. Well, it was one and a half night. Well, I was just saying you could watch um that show you about the a psychopath stalker who kills. I have heard about that to be fair, but I haven't. Oh, it's quite good. It. It's quite good. But yeah, come on. Talking... Brittany. Uh, Brittany. So, so since we last talked about it, we talk. About... So it's been a while since we talked about Brittany. Um, so her dad's so conservatorship. So basically means uh, her dad control her finances. Yeah, but I thought she won that battle. Yeah, since since then, well, she have won it. Yeah, her dad has so basically it's going her way now, which is good. Which is possible because America could be. She could be a free woman. Do what she, she wants. She could be a free woman. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Her dad, her dad has been suspended. Now he's, now he's been suspended. And now he's quit. Now he's quit. Now, so that's good news. Not quit the label. No, quit the conservatorship. Well, yeah. That's because he knew he's gonna lose. Yeah, he lose. So fair play. So if I, so so it looks like either she's gonna get new conservatorship, maybe look someone give her more freedom. That's what she needs, isn't it? Freedom. Yeah, exactly. Maybe, maybe look into 
someone to look in the finances, how much money she'd been fucked over by her dad. Someone's like it did fucking to, loads. Yeah, from touring, you know, golfing. She, she, yeah, she must own a lot of money. I mean, her dad took a lot of took a lot of control from her. Like, um, went to see her friends and stuff, and got to do these shows. Fuck that! I fuck that! Yeah. Said, fuck off. So it's finally good that people are actually waking up about Britney Spears. Leave her alone. Free the Britney movement. Yeah. And now, so it's good. So what do you think about it all? You well, it's good she got her freedom. Yeah. Well, well, not definitely, but her dad's out of the way, so oh, that's yeah. good. Well, well good. just went. Yeah, that's what I mean. It takes on time. Dad's out of the picture. Yeah. And if you're a fan, I know her dad's not own, her mum's not own up. And then again, you don't know what's happening. Closed doors. Well, no, you oh, don't know what's happening. Yeah. 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 Closed yeah. And says so then Britney and her boyfriend get engaged, which is good. Fair play to them. Fair play yeah, to them. If they do, they better sort out where to get their fine. I'd definitely... Yeah, I wait. can ask get some money going on first, Jesus. No, make sure they don't get screwed over. Make sure their marriage... Let me see if that'd be smart. Otherwise, that may... Because service shit may factor over. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's... I know she had my job problem, but I think she... Yeah, but you've got to think, was those mental health problems brought on because of the way her dad made her be? Yeah, it must be all before. Or it must be before uh, 2000, you know, when she had a meltdown. She yeah, to, but you might, be, you might think she might have been going for this for years. Probably, yeah, 20 years, yeah. Mm. She might have been going for this for years, and that might have been her way of trying to tell people, and that's, but no one took notice because so to, it's quite to the people that didn't know about it, us outsiders, it just looked like Britney was having a meltdown and shaving her head off. Yeah, I think she lost, like, she was going to lose her kids. And the but media, the, me, the media. To, that might be a way of trying to say to people, no, my dad's controlling me, I need fucking help. Yeah, and her dad. Yeah, and then the media took the part. But I think the conservative show happened after the meltdown. But I know her father. But, yeah. Yeah, you never know what behind the scenes. Her father yeah. could have been controlling it for ages behind the scenes. Her family and people took a lot of panic. And, yeah, you just don't never know. know these days. Yeah, her food. Brittany may retire, but I don't blame her. If she doesn't. After all, she's. I don't blame her. She's not a sat. Me, me, she's even behind the legacy, so it's not like she's going to be leaving nothing behind. Exactly. I, like, don't I'm, get me wrong, I'm not the biggest fan of hers. I don't really like her music that much, but I know she's created a leg. Like, yeah, she's good before, but she's good. Some, yeah, exactly. So, one of the biggest songs in the 1990s and 2000s. I was the best there as well. Even when she had a meltdown, she, she came with Give Me More, that's the tune. Give Me More's the tune. Give, and and give then, what my name is? Uh, work Bitch. Yeah. What? Work Bitch. Oh, yeah, you go about Work Bitch. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Two so, so I'm happy for Britney Spears to be free. Yeah, I am as well. But hopefully, live her life. Hopefully, hopefully she can live her life doing what she wants now. Yeah. Now, if you want to say free Britney, now just let her live her life. Well, Maybe me just stop talking about Britney. I'd hate to be in that situation myself. So it's like you know, you feel for her. Yeah, I wouldn't want like for like, well, I don't have my dad or stepdad here, but mm. so like, that's like my mum trying to control my finances and what my yeah, money you, get I don't know, you yeah, you, I like fork right off. Yeah, for like a toy in the shape, for like on a shelf. You're trapped. Yeah. I'd be she a would, prisoner. If that was the case, I wouldn't have this fucking tent. Exactly. Yeah, you probably you'd have to sit in your own room. Sit in my room. Well, yeah, probably. But yeah, that's what I mean. You got to put yourself in that situation, really. Yeah. What would you You'll be, be like if you was in that situation? You would probably hate it as well and fucking want to. Douche. Yeah, and all, and all it took was uh, her fans to get the attention, and it worked. The power of the fandom. So it shows fun. the power of the fans works. It does work, exactly. It's good. Yeah, if you're not going to do anything, man, you're just a bunch of cowards, and it happened. You kind of did. You know, you don't have to be a bunch of cowards about it anymore. Mm. So, done, so it is looking promising for Britney, so that's good. Yeah, free Britney, yes. yes. That's what we want. Good, promising. Yeah. Very positive. Oh, Nothing toxic. Nothing toxic. Should not be a slave for anyone. Yeah. A slave. A slave for you. Do, 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 do. So. So, last one. So, what else? Last little thing we're going to talk about, but this is going to be briefly because. How long? Uh, so, 20, yeah, 40 minutes. So, 50 minutes here. No. Yeah. 20 minutes it was half an hour. So, half an hour, you sort of stopped the video then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Last little thing, the box in because there's obviously two rumors going around, and there's obviously basically what do you think of the Toys from Fury versus um, I think um, I think now. I think that's quite impressive. Um, Dante Border is that it? 
Yeah. yeah. Wild, wild, wild Earth versus Tyson Fury. Yeah. That was yeah, I didn't watch it, but I saw highlights and it looked like a good fucking boxing match, to be fair. Yeah, that was pretty tight. I can see why, why people buy this. People say it's the best one. Yeah, like, fair play to them. They both put on a show. Yeah, I did think it would be enough one, but here we go. It but, and quickly. it just shows, Tyson Fury's just showing you don't need to have abs or look the most most defined and look in the best shape of your life. If you've got the skill and determination, that's good enough. Yeah, you know, that you know, exactly. Like you were saying about how your performance, you still perform. Yeah, like that's like you know, like I said to you, I want. Where am I? I'll get the picture so I can say my point better, and you'll see what I mean. As well, he's gonna pluck out this. Thing. As you can see in this plaque that Georgia Ferry bought, uh, very nicely bought for my birthday, I'm not exactly toned as fuck in it. I am very. Where's the bottom one? Bottom one's the best one. There we go. As you can see, I am not toned up. I haven't got abs on me. But I still won my match in 50... Well, and in 56 seconds. I won my match. It just shows... Yeah, size of the match. Damn it. Mm. It just shows, really, and like I said, on Tyson Fury... Uh, Tyson Fury did the same with his match the other day. You don't need to have abs. You don't need to look defined and muscly as fuck. Obviously, if you want to, go for it. Yeah. But once you put the hard work and determination in... You can get that W, and as long as you've got yeah, that, that W, as long as you've got that, I don't give up attitude. Exactly. So fair play to them because it was a good match anyway. Like fair play. Yeah. To them. Are they, do you like when Water got knocked down? I was very good. I was like, oh, he got yeah. That right Water. hook was nasty. Yeah. Ouch. That was a right knock. So fair out. play to them. But on to um two lesser known boxers that people don't really give a fuck about. What do you think to the rumors? There's rumors going out. Tommy Fury, Tyson Fury's brother, has apparently signed the deal now to fight. Jake Paul. Yeah. I hope he smashes him. <laughs> Smash, obviously. Because Tommy well, Fury's been boxing. Will this be the last one the, 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 after Mike Tyson went? I don't know. That's the other rumour is Mike Tyson apparently is signing or has signed a contract to fight Logan Paul in February. Yeah, so you got a veteran boxer legend. For, that'll be quite good. That'll be quite good. So you got, yeah, but I've got money Mike Tyson. Like, Mike I know Tyson, he's yeah, old, Tyson, yeah. but come on, it's Mike Tyson. I think you should buy Logan's here for payback. He ain't gonna let Logan Paul win. No. It ain't gonna be like a Floyd Mayweather, way Mayweather, where he do it for entertainment. Mike Tyson didn't like that. Mike Tyson's in there to fight and win. Yeah. He ain't gonna fucking stand there and hold him up. That's not like, like um, Floor, 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 Floyd did. I can't fucking speak today. Either way, they're gonna be interesting fights. But I just hope Tommy Floyd shuts Jake Paul up, and I hope Mike Tyson just shuts Logan Paul up. That'd be that'd be quite interesting. But then there is. And I hate to say it, you've got to admit, they're bringing eyes to the world of boxing. Yeah. As much as I hate to say it, because I don't like either of them. Well, Logan's alright, but I can't stand Jake Paul. Yeah, they're bringing... They are bringing eyes to the boxing world. Like, yeah. I'm, 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 apart from the fight we just mentioned, and AJ, whenever AJ fights, mm -hmm. who really talks about boxing much? Well, lots of people do, maybe. Yeah, maybe but I mean, like... These days, okay. When do, when it's is like, people like talking about Moose? Whenever when it's about Jake Paul or Logan Paul? Yeah, they talk about Tyson Fury. Or Tyson Fury, like they're mm. on that level of like they can bring that hype and that. Actually, Josh, yeah. That sort of hype to it, like once it's done, it's like yeah. yeah. But lots of people don't take seriously because they're YouTubers, but they should. Yeah, I yeah. get that. Yeah, but but they well, are putting the graft in. Yeah, they're you can tell they are putting the graft in. Yeah, if this if it's not gonna be a money grab match, then yes, I'll be looking forward to that. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying they're amazing boxers, but they are at the same time putting yeah. the graft in. You it's can just tell the, they're putting the graft in. It's just the past few matches they've been money grabbed. Yeah, that, that's Hope, the thing. Maybe man. the Floyd one. Hopefully the Floyd um that'd be good. Like the Floyd one, yeah, that wasn't a money grab. It was a money grab, but it, I'm you. because you know, in my opinion, I think. Floyd won it because he hold he held Logan Paul up at one point. Yeah, hopefully twice that'd be quite interesting. But we we'll see. So you got two different ages. Time to guess. Two different you look at it really, it's youth versus age, isn't it? Yeah, that'd be quite. They might taste some Logan. Yeah, they both. Yeah, I wouldn't do in the UK now, but both be in America as usual. They'd be in America. Us so, UK fans will yeah, want probably to be pay about fifty quid to watch it. Yep. Which well, I will not. You get for free. Really? Oh yeah, there's plenty of people out there fucking streaming it, but yeah. The last time KSI won, we were in Butlins. Was it? Oh, I don't know. You didn't yeah. know much after. Something like that. 
Yeah, you won. But whatever you won. Yeah, you won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I Brilliant. think we're in the podcast now. I've been Enough. Inspiration Mike. I've been G-Man. We will see you... Well, you might get a double whammer this week because you might see this one early on in the week and then you might get a Halloween one on Halloween weekend, depending if we're not both busy. Yes. Well, I, I, I know I'm not busy Halloween, but um, you I might have to. plans. Yes. Hopefully... If not, no, then we'll see you the week after. Yeah, so hopefully well, the, po- the, the podcast won't be another three months. Hopefully okay, not, but we can't promise. Cause Listen, I am training for another cage fight, but I am taking a break after this one. But if you want to know what's going on with that, just watch my previous video I've posted, and you can find out. Yep. So, see you later. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Ciao. Ciao.